now invite uh, Sri Harikiran Vadlamani, founder of Indic Academy, to introduce and say a few words, and then we can get started. Thank you. Arden, I think Janet Arden uh, of New Zealand Prime Minister uh, spoke about her achievements of the government for in two minutes she gave a, and that went viral. Uh, so Indic Academy just completed five minutes, five, five years, and I've got five minutes to talk about it. So I'm going to talk very rapidly. I'm just going to stay my, uh, share my screen and hopefully we'll cover something for you to get a sense of. Okay, so Indic Academy is um, a non-traditional university for traditional knowledge. Our purpose is to bring about a global Indic renaissance that is based on Indic and indigenous knowledge systems. We pursue a multi-dimensional strategy a strategy that seeks to build centers of excellence, seeks to transform intellectuals and build an ecosystem. We think about a strategy on three dimensions. I think about I'm living in a cube in these three dimensions, wherein we to seek to preserve, protect and promote our indigenous knowledge systems. We took our thinking is near term, medium term and long term. And we look at the dimensions of intellectual, cultural and spiritual. That's the broader framework. Insofar as centers of excellence are concerned, we have set up three centers of excellence. One is an intergurukula university center. We have heard of inter-university centers. This is the intergurukula university center, wherein we are bringing about and building a bridge between four components, which is the traditional Shastric study, Indic knowledge systems, Indology, and fusing the Western and Eastern uh, the knowledge systems so that it is on a civilization basis. So that is our ambition. We have um, acquired land in Hyderabad and we are seeking to build a multidisciplinary Gurukul along with this inter-university center. This we will be starting it this year. The strategy for the IGUC is to look at research partnerships with individuals as well as institutions. We have signed up as well as announced research fellowships on our own develop courses and also develop centers. So we are right now in discussions with Baroda University as well as MIT University to set up centers in their campus. We hope to achieve scale through this strategy of research partnerships and developing courses and developing centers at various uh, universities. We have a center for Indic writers. We, see, we, we seek to nurture uh, uh, writers. We seek to publish writers and promote writers and over the last uh, three years, we have emerged as the largest platform to promote books. We have done more than 160 book launches. We are into publications and they're also into training. Like this month alone, we trained more than 20 people in writing. So these are the aspects of our IGUC center, uh, uh, writing center. We also have set up a center for soft power. The center for soft power looks at analysis, advocacy and awareness. We have a platform called Soft Power Mag. And advocacy, we have set up a platform called NICE, wherein we are seeking to uh, nurture cultural entrepreneurship. We also have a research division to see how our culture is making a global impact. This is as far as the centers of excellence is concerned. We are now shortly starting two more centers, one center for sustainability, wherein we are looking at sustainability across agriculture. We are looking at sustainability in uh, uh, crafts and uh, Ayurveda. And look at the indigenous knowledge systems, go to the field and do research there. We're also setting up a center for inner transformation or center for spirituality, wherein we're looking at three kinds of courses. One course is a course to make, make, make yoga charyas, which is from Samskritam to sutras, from Kirtans, Bhajans, Bhajans, Chantings, and Yoga Sutras and Upanishads. So all that we overlaid on a typical 500 hour asana course. We're also looking at executive coaching as a part of this. Uh, and also to uh, to produce gurus in the traditional Vedantic system. This is what these are the five centers that uh, we have. We are also uh, we have a, a strategy of transforming intellectuals and we what we call as a strategy of self selfless and self. When we talk about self with a smaller self, we talk about helping a person discover his uh, his swadharma and nurturing that selfless is to make him think and invest in him to work on. Uh, uh, social entrepreneurship 
and self with the capital S is to make him help him discover his true self. That is our strategy for transforming intellectuals at the broader level. More specifically, we look at courses, we conduct courses, we have offer research fellowships, we have more than 80 research fellowships that we are in the process of granting. We have already granted 20. We are public, we are in publications. We have published 14 books. We are uh, conduct events. We have held 496 events as of 31st of March in the last four years. In this year alone, again, we've started, we have done about eight events. And we have also developed platforms wherein individuals, we nurture them as entrepreneurs. We have Indic Book Club, which is a platform being nurtured by, uh, nurtured with uh, uh, Abhinav Agarwal, wherein we are promoting books. We have uh, distributed more than 9,000 books through this platform. We have Indic Today, which is, which is being run by Yogni Desh Pandey. She is the editor. And that's a, that's a platform for serious uh, and semi-serious uh, 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 knowledge uh, in, in Shastra's Indic knowledge systems and Indology. We have Indica Pictures, which is a platform for short uh, videos being uh, done by Gayatri Ayer. We have Indica Yoga being uh, run by Vinay Chandra. We have Indica Moksha being uh, uh, run by uh, Nitin Sridhar, which is a platform, which is the largest platform. We have more than 10,000 videos on uh, Vedanta. We are doing a global festival of uh, Adi Shankaracharya for 30 days now. We have Aijan Plus, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, run by uh, Saumya Agrawal, which is a joint venture with her, which is targeted at children uh, up to high school. And over the last two years, we have made several interventions. And we have now set up NICE, which I mentioned earlier, which is a network of Indian cultural enterprises, which is going to be the NASCOM or the CIA of culture. Uh, Arunima Gupta is uh, heading that. And Software, Software Mag is, uh, is run by Vijayalakshmi, uh, Vijay Kumar, and Aparna Shrida. These are all the platforms that we have. We, insofar as the ecosystem, we are consciously trying to build an ecosystem. The ecosystem we are trying to build, wherein we don't have a view we only are the infrastructure creators. Any ecosystem has two components. There's a living component. There's a non-living component. We are trying to invest in the non-living part. We don't have any views. We, we are diverse and inclusive and we welcome all views. And the way we look at uh, building this infra, uh, uh, ecosystem is through a connect, cooperate and collaborate strategy with connections. We help uh, smaller people, smaller networks to form. We have city networks. We have networks in 30 cities. Over the last five years, we've developed these networks. We have domain-wise networks. Uh, networks is focused on uh, specific domains. And that's how we are trying to create this ecosystem of helping people connect each other. We have a corporate strategy wherein we give grants. We have emerged as the largest grant-giving organization in this space. We give grants for events, publications, research and fellowships, travel, and scholarships. We also also encourage collaborations. We collaborate with other institutions. Like I mentioned about research, we collaborate for finance, we collaborate for technical, we for collaborate for infrastructure. So that's our collaborative strategy. This is the overall uh, basis. We, the kind of events that we have uh, held are range from Vakirta Sadas to retreats, to workshops, conferences, walks, uh, uh, screenings, uh, book launches, Indic talks. That's broadly uh, uh, what we do. Uh, I, I just take one more minute. We are, the several highlights and several uh, things that we have uh, achieved and which we are proud of uh, uh, in, in just in terms of uh, uh, when we look back in the last five years. But going forward, version IA, uh, what is IA 2.0? IA 2.0 is going to do two things. One is work with professors like Balu in a deeper and more meaningful manner and see how they can make a greater impact. So there's one aspect of that that's going to be very, very, and this year we are, we are, we are working with nine uh, such uh, uh, venerable scholars and looking at how to build the, their legacies. That's one very important thing that uh, I'm, I'm very deeply engaged with. And then there's another aspect of building a Gurukul here, multidisciplinary Gurukul here and the Inter-University Center. That's the second version. And the third version is to look at scale and how we can approach scale. We just gave 100 scholarships for publishing um, for, for first-time authors. So how do we get scale and, and, and reach out to a larger people? So this, this, this thing between richness and reach, and that's what we are trying to do. And I hope my five minutes is over. Thank you so much.